Yes, oddly enough, cactuses are very valuable in Forza Horizon 5. It may seem counterintuitive that such an abundant plant can give you millions of credits an hour, but it's exactly how to make money with cactus that I'll show you in this very simple step by step. Cactus, cactus, get a juicy, get a fortified cactus, now ridges and thorns. The first step is to get a card that has the 7x skill point multiplier perk. If you don't have one, you can use a Forza Edition card that has increased drift skills or increased destruction skills. These features will enable us to earn skill points faster in the next steps. The card I'm currently using to do this is the Hoonigan Kozi. It's a card that everyone has at the beginning of the game and it has several perks. Extra skill points in combos, more points in side swipes, skill bonus and faster multiplier up to 6 times and the ability to make me look like a first time mom taking the kids to school at 7.35 in the morning. With a card like this in your hands, put all wheel drive on it, off road tires and a lot of power. This will be important later. With that done, the second step is to find an open field that is filled with cacti. The greater the number of cacti here, the better for this money method. The spot I'm using is this one. It's a very wide field and full of cactuses. If you want to use this field too, just come here to this location on the map. I ended up recording this without looking at the screen because I'm doing the Forza Horizon 5 no map challenge in the channel shorts. Once in the cactus field, I know it's gonna hurt, but it's time for acupuncture. That's because step 3 consists of drifting through the field of cacti and colliding with the biggest number of them you can hit. That's why we picked a field full of cacti back in step 2. The goal here is to get the highest skill point score you can. To achieve this as quickly as possible, we will use and abuse a new skill added in Forza Horizon 5. It's called Smectus and it gives you more than a thousand skill points every time you hit a cactus. The ideal, then, is you drift at high speed, pulling the handbrake and knocking down cacti, of course, as this accounts towards other skills that increase your skill points. You'll do this until you reach a hundred thousand points, which times five gives you the limit of five hundred thousand points, and then you stop get your skill points and start over. If your car has a 6x multiplier, you stop at 84,000 and if it's 7 times, you only need to reach 72,000 skill points and then you stop and get your 10 skill points. Every time you get your 10 skill points, you'll remember my face doing this. No, you'll open the car mastery page and then you'll buy all the perks that give you skill boosts, because that will speed up the process of getting skill points. It's also very important that when you reach 25 skill points, you buy the second life perk. As we're drifting off-road close to the cacti, you'll often find a rock along the way. I was gonna make a cactus joke, but you would call me a prick. If you hit that rock, they won't give a thorn. And you lose all your score. So this second life perk will save you in these cases. And if that happens, I just stop and wait for my points to get counted. Because I won't get a third chance, right? When you've got all the useful perks for your specific car, start accumulating skill points for the next step. Step 4 is to open up the car dealer and buy a car that has a super wheel spin perk at the lowest possible cost. Up until the last video, this car was the 2020 Toyota Supra. But since then, they've discovered another car that will give you super wheel spins for less money. That car today is the Wheelies Jeep. But when you're watching this video, it could be that another car has even cheaper super wheel spins. If you already know of one, leave it in the comments for everyone to enjoy. Step 5 is more obvious than lettuce stuck between the teeth. You enter the Jeep's mastery tree, start buying until you get to the super wheel spin and after buying, you exit and delete the car from the garage. Then go to the next Jeep and do the same thing. What you don't want to do here is buy the perks up and then right because then the cost would be too high. The way you spend as few skill points as possible is to buy the skills to the right and then up. The logic of this method is very similar to the logic in the super method, only with a spiky difference. We use cacti to speed up the generation of skill points. We use them to get super wheel spins on the Jeep skills, which we can buy cheap, and in each super wheel spin, we get a hefty amount of money in credits, cars to sell at auction, and even Forza Edition cars with skill enhancements that speed up the method. If I made you laugh at some point, tell me in the comments, it was likely thanks to my brother who wrote some of the jokes on this video and I would love to know it.